And there we go guys, real FIFA 23 has successfully started on our Android device. Yo what's up guys this is Aptrex here, today I will be showing you guys the best method to play the original FIFA 2023 game on your Android devices easily. It's going to be easier than the previous method which I told you guys 6 months ago. So before starting let me talk about minimum requirements, Snapdragon 855 processor or above, also 6GB of RAM these are the minimum requirements to emulate the original FIFA 2023. By the way comment down below what is your favorite football club. I heard that Messi is joining some sort of club in America which is pretty disappointing because Americans call football soccer man like that is completely disrespectful so comment down below your thoughts. With that being said let's get started through today's video. This is going to be the easiest method to play FIFA 23 on Android as we'll be emulating this game legally with the help of Yuzu emulator Android. So first of all what you have to do is just go ahead and open play store and search for Yuzu emulator. Afterwards you will get this emulator right here which is currently in early access. So this is a Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. It is even better than the AGNS emulator and its changelog is fixes incorrect render resolution that causes blurriness, fixes layout issues on foldable devices, includes the latest changes from upstream Yuzu. After you have loaded the Yuzu emulator from Play Store on your Android device, the next step is to dump your FIFA 23 game on your Android device. So right here in the games folder, I have pasted the EA Sports FIFA 23 Legacy Edition NSP file format which is around 13.5 GB. So this is the game file uh, which you need to dump from your Nintendo Switch legally and make sure to have it on your Android device. After this process is completed just go ahead and open the Yuzu emulator Android. It will welcome you. Click on get started, uh, click on next and click on skip. Afterwards it will ask you to import keys so you can just go ahead and tap on select keys and select the product keys which you have dumped from your Nintendo Switch. Afterwards it will say key successfully loaded then click on next afterwards we'll have to select the folder where we stored our FIFA 23 game file as I showed you guys before so just go ahead and tap on add games select the games folder click on use this folder and allow it access then click on next and we are all set guys that's how simple it is but we'll need to apply some best settings to make sure that this game runs flawlessly so we'll just go ahead and tap on continue. And there we go, our FIFA 23 Legacy Edition is being shown on the Yuzu Emulator Android. Let's open settings. Afterwards, you have to go to advanced settings. Then go to general. Make sure to disable the limit speed percentage option. CPU accuracy should be auto. Now let's go back. Let's go to graphics. Accuracy level is set to normal. Resolution, you can keep it at 0.5x if you have an low-end device. But as the device which I am using in today's video has Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, I'll be keeping the resolution scaling at 1x. Uh, you can go all the way up to 8K emulation but uh, that's pretty crazy, we won't even talk about it. So let's scroll down, VSync mode has been disabled, anti-aliasing method is set to none. Aspect ratio, click on stretch to window. Then disk shader cache should be enabled along with force maximum clocks. Also enable asynchronous shaders and you are all set with the best settings uh, for FIFA 23. By the way I forgot to mention that for Yuzu emulator you need minimum Android version 11 or above or else it won't be shown on Play Store. Now let's get back to playing this game. So after you have set up everything uh, and applied the best settings all you have to do is tap on the games icon and wait for few seconds. Now there is another additional setting which I'd like to show you guys and as you just saw EA Sports FIFA 2023 has loaded on our Android device. So just swipe from left, afterwards go to overlays option, click on FPS counter, make sure to enable this option and at the top left corner it will show you guys the amount of FPS that you are getting. Right now I am getting over 280 frames per second but once the game starts it will decrease up to like uh, 60 frames per second or so. And yes, as this is an unstable emulator the game will crash sometimes but don't worry just reopen the game again and I'll show you guys that it should work properly this time. Yuzu emulator also has an another version which is known as Yuzu early access which is a paid version it costs about six dollars it's available on play store uh, but in paid version of Yuzu emulator there are less crashing issues and better performance and if the game keeps on crashing for you guys then I'd recommend another thing just go to settings by swiping at the left side afterwards go to system make sure to disable dock mode and then go to graphics and decrease the resolution if the game keeps on crashing for you guys okay so there we go FIFA 23 press A to start and there might be some delays here and there but don't worry much about it as this is an emulator running this game completely depends on your Android device and there we go guys our FIFA 23 has successfully started let's scroll to the play option here we can start our new career and the online features aren't available on Yuzu emulator yet or we'll just do a quick kick off let's go to UEFA Champions League now let's play a match. I'll tap on the A button. We can change the jersey but we'll keep it at default. Then click on A button again. Let's click on play match and 
our match should successfully so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button subscribe as i'll be uploading similar videos on my channel see you guys next time goodbye